Okay, this is midterm for Jesus Harley Lopez. Card game, one to rule them. Okay, so we start off by separating the playing card deck into four separate decks according to their sign. Now each player chooses a deck. Right now we're gonna play the two version, two person version because it's the only, that's as many people I could get. So Pebbles, pick yep. a deck. Any? Any deck, it really doesn't matter. Okay. okay. And then now I'll pick a deck. I've got clubs. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put, use the spades as the deck of faith. Yeah. And the hearts will go away. Now each of us will shuffle our deck. I could shuffle mine. Yes, yes. I am recording. That makes it extremely hard. And then place it down when you're done. And can you shuffle the fate deck as well? Yes, I will. Okay. So each person has two marbles and two flat marbles. The flat marbles are your health, and the blue marbles are your shield. Deck of Faith will be placed right here, and to decide who goes first, we'll roll a dice, and whoever gets higher goes first. So, I'll roll first. I got a one. Yeah, it doesn't look like I will go first. You got a three, so yep. Pebbles will be going first. If there was three people playing this game, you would, I would be, um, Pebbles would go first and the person to the left would go next. Okay, now everybody will draw two cards. Yeah, I have these two cards. And each one of these cards correlate to a card from the card chart. So Pebbles, if you need to, uh, look what card spells you have, they're on the on the computer as well as this is how the turn goes when you start your turn you'll draw a card mm -hmm. then you'll play a card if you want it'll be your play phase and you get to play a card each card doing a random thing mm -hmm. and then it'll be and your turn and then it'll go to the next person mm -hmm. and you see for right here that jack queen and king for your deck is called the uh, chance of fate card mm -hmm. which allows you to draw one card and play it from the fate deck So pebbles, what would you do? Uh, just choose a card to do. Mm -hmm. Each one being different I will. As well as if you end your turn with more than four cards, you have to discard till you have four again Do I have to show you the number? Uh, yeah, you play down, but also don't forget to draw so I place it and then I draw? No, you draw first, then place oh, okay. it. Okay, draw first. Okay, and then you choose what card you want to play, if you want to play a card. Okay. Four? So four, it's a spell fireball, and it deals one damage to an opponent of your choice. Being me, because I'm the only opponent. Yes. Now, you can do two things when you take damage. Mm -hmm. You can either choose to block it with a shield or take it directly. And I'll choose to block it with one of my shields. So I lose one marble whenever damage or whenever you use the block, the shield block. Now that you played it, you discard your card, so you just put it off in a different pile. And then it would be my turn. So I'll draw a card. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna play a chance of fate card and draw from the fate deck. And now I have to play this card. So I got a six. And the six right there at the chance of fate is a reflect. So that means the next damage I take, or that I would take, is reflected to a point of my choice. So right now, since this card is active, I'll place it in front of my deck, and then I'll end my turn, discarding my jack. Your turn, Pebbles. You draw a card, and then you go.
also to note, there are two different types of health, shield and health. This is no pick of certain cards. See, Pillow has played the two card. Yes. Which makes two, two's a sacrifice. You and another player will, uh, that you pick will be hit for one damage. So Bevel, since you uh, played it, you get to pick. Would you rather it take a shield out or a health out? A shield. Okay. Also note, shields, if you go drop to zero on shields, it doesn't matter. But if you drop to zero on health, you die. And the other person wins. And since I have the reflect card and I would have taken damage, I reflected back onto Pebbles. And now you take two damage. So you choose another item to take off. Now, the fate discard pile is right next to the fate deck. Okay. And then you discard your card. Now it's Pebbles has ended his turn and I'll draw. Let's see. I will play another Chance at Fate card. And that allows me to draw from this deck. And it's getting really repetitive now because we're just going through the same motions. And I've gotten drawn the eight. The eight is Earthquake, which means all players lose one health or all players take one damage. And I'll choose to block it with my shield. Those two go to their respective piles, and now I have ended my turn. Bubbles, it's your turn. A six. A six. Dodge. Dodge means the next damage Pebbles would take is nullified. Sorry, I have gotten off my card sheet here. You can place the extra marbles in here. There you go. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, Pebbles' dodge card will be placed in front of her last his last health, and then he will undeter. Now it's my turn. I draw. And I will not play that card because that is useless at the moment. But. I will play another chance at fate. You literally, those were the first three cards I drew. Oh. Which means I draw at fate. I drew the five, which is the fate five is life drain, which I choose one opponent and they take one damage. But since Pebbles has the nullify card, it nullifies it which means nothing happens, but the nullify is used. But what would have happened, if that were to happen, if Pebbles chose to block it with a shield, it, the shield just breaks, but if Pebbles chose to block it with a health, I gain one lost health back. Mm. Now I end my turn, and it is Pebbles' turn. Does this discard now? Yes. I will... You. A chance, chance at fate. Mm-hmm. And you'll pick up this. a card and you place it on top of it. A king faith. That is a big faith card. Which is your choice. Which means you get to pick any spell from either your spell list or the fate spell list. And it activates as that card. Let's see here. I'm gonna these go. are all the spells for Ace through Seven, and these are all the spells for Eight through King. I want to choose a Firewall. A Firewall? Are you sure you want to? You haven't read the rest of them, huh? No, I haven't. You should read the rest of them. There's much better choices for your situation. But I want to choose a Fireball. Okay. You don't want to choose invulnerability, fortune, gifts, what gives you all your lost shields, uh, life drain. Since I have no shields, you automatically get a life back. 
reflect. Cause well, you know, well, 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 well. yeah. You could actually even win right now by choosing Thunder Wave. Let's choose Even Steven. Even Steven. Steven. You see, Even Steven is the seventh faith card, and it makes the everyone's health and shield is set to the lowest person's shield and or health. You uh, picker's choice. So since Pebbles has only one health, I lose one health. Exciting. <laughs> Make okay. Chance. Now it is my turn, so I will draw. Drawing this this one. And I will play this card. I play the six. Dodge. And I'll end my turn. Ooh, another chance at fake card. Let's see what you get. That queen chance of fate card on the queen chance of fate. <laughs> Let's see, the hearts go to yours once they're used and these go over here. All right, so the queen chance of fate card is healers, which means everyone gains their loss, or gains one lost health, which brings both of us back to two health. Okay.